Hello everyone, and welcome to FlowXO Academy. In this video, we will show you how to easily embed your webbot in a website. We will be using a website configured with WordPress, and a bot where we have configured a MailChimp integration in a previous video. As you see, there are different options to embed your bot, but for any of them, you only need to insert a bit of code in your page. One option is to use an iframe, which can be placed anywhere in the body of a web page. This is the option that we used in previous videos about MailChimp and Google Sheets. Here, you can see the iframe embedded in this page. Alternatively, you can use a script to insert a chat bubble in your page, which will open the bot when clicked. The script has to be inserted just before the closing body tag in your web page. We will start by using the iframe option. Simply edit to the page where you would like to embed it, in our case using WordPress with Elementor, and insert an HTML container. We will copy the iframe code and paste it in the HTML container. The bot shows automatically, however, you can see that the iframe is too small and our customers will not be able to see the conversation while they are typing. To fix that, we will adjust the iframe's height within the code, like this. That makes the iframe a bit bigger already, and we can now see the bot's conversation correctly. We now click on Update to save the changes, and we can check in our page that the bot's iframe is shown correctly. The next option will allow us to insert a chat bubble at the lowest visible right corner of the page that will open the chatbot. For this second option, we have two alternatives. We can insert it in the website footer before the closing body tag to have it shown in all the pages, or we can insert the script directly in an HTML container if we want the bot in a specific page. Starting with the last option, we simply have to add another HTML container to the page where we would like to insert the bot, and paste the script. Then click on Update to save the changes. We then reload the page to check, and after a couple of seconds, the chat bubble will appear. If we click on it, we can see that the bot interacts in the same way as when it's embedded as an iframe. As we mentioned, if you would like the chat bubble to be displayed in all pages, you should add it to your website's footer instead of an HTML container in one page. We are going to remove this HTML container and update the page to avoid duplicate chat bubbles. As you can see, the chat bubble has disappeared. We will move on to our WordPress admin panel, where we have installed a plugin called Insert Headers and Footers, which makes the task simpler although you could achieve the same by changing the footer in your WordPress settings. We will go back to the bot's configuration page and copy the script code. Next, simply paste it in the footers section and click on Save. We will now move on to the website to check. Reload the page and make sure the chat bubble appears. The good thing about this option is that it will add the chat bubble to all pages, as you can see here. And that's all for this video. Remember, you can find detailed written instructions for this and many more features in our Help Center at support.flowxo.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos on FlowXO's features, and let us know in the comments if there are any specific features that you would like us to cover in a video.